Okay, everyone, who's here? Who's ready for an Overwatch panel? That doesn't sound like enough people. I think that's who's ready for an Overwatch panel? Well, there's one happening in uh, special events, so if you guys run really quickly, you can get there. No, it's here. All right. So on this occasion, I've decided we're gonna we're gonna call people up one by one in order of uh, how late they were. Because if you were here for the last panel, I was ten minutes late. I got gently blasted for it. So calling us up one by one. Let's start off. Gaku Space. Josh Petersdorf. Uh, and last, but by no means least, but ever so slightly the latest, Theodore Chin. I do not levitate. <laughs> Can't do the dance. Sack anime, what's going on? Always the best. It's great to be here. Yeah. Great Hello, to be Sacramento. Here. Yeah. I love the heat. Yeah. The heat's been really, really crazy up here. It was 105 or something yesterday, wasn't it? It was it pretty... It 111. Wow. wow. Yeah, that's yeah, Most of you guys are in here just to stay cool, right? That's yeah. Uh, for the, the AC. AC. Here for the AC. Good air conditioning in here. Yeah. Good Freon! <laughs> Sacramento has the finest Freon in California. <laughs> that's almost certainly true. Now, the other advantage of this setup is I think now you've all sat in different chairs for yeah. every Overwatch panel. I think I started on the left. Yeah. And on okay, the right, now I'm in the middle. It's like kind of rotating, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Good. You know, I mean, I, I like you, Josh. Thank you. You're good people. I can't I stand wanna, you. I don't want to sit next to you <laughs> all the kidding. time. I'm just kidding. I'll kiss you later. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Again, I, so as you guys already know, and as some of you know, you've seen me moderate other panels, I always like to kick these things off with a hard hitting question. I like to dig deep, I like to make you guys feel and think so that you guys are ready for the, 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 the questions that everyone else is going to give you. Mm. So here it is, guys. What, what, did you, what did you have for lunch? How was lunch? Did you have a good lunch? I had a bottle of water and a Red Bull. <laughs> Con food. <laughs> I also missed lunch. I didn't, you missed I, lunch? I missed lunch. I, yeah. I, just, yeah. I, I was, I was uh, wandering the, uh, the exhibition hall, the uh, Artist Alley, some fantastic Amazing work stuff out there. Here. Really Beautiful great stuff. Beautiful stuff. So good, so good. Yeah, and I just forgot to eat. <laughs> I had a salad and a meatball. A salad. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. I want to thank you all for opening up to me. Absolutely. For that question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, let's just dive in. There's all these wonderful people with their wonderful, brilliant questions. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Hey! hey. Woo. Um, I like how they're closer today. This is yeah. much better. It's a lot more <laughs> exactly. personal. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, um, I have a question for Genji. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on the Genji corpse launch? Corpse launch? What's that? Uh, when Genji uses his dash attack into a explosion that happens to kill him, he gets sent flying. Really? Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome? Yeah. Then it's awesome. It's really funny to see. Really? Yeah, I don't know. It could happen to Ana too, I think. Does his legs go like... <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Like Genji frog legs is... <laughs> really? Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> but it's cool, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I love the YouTube that after the panel. I love the Beavis guess, and Butthead shirts. Yeah, I have too. to. It was awesome. Hello, hello. I have a quick question about the voice acting. When you guys like have a new event coming up, do you guys just get like a call and you catch a flight, or do you go to like the nearest studio to record new lines? Mm, that's a good question. A lot of the new studios have amazing technology that allows you to remote record, so you can go to a place in New York, uh, Los Angeles, and if. Uh, the director is, you know, in Miami. They can still do it live and connect the sessions. But for me personally, uh, I live in L.A., so every time there is new lines, I get called in and we record it in L.A. I do, at least. Yeah. I do as well. And, me too. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's so, yeah, yeah, we house. all live in L.A. I yeah. know some of the cast is East Coast based, like uh, Lucy Paul, Jen, Mercy, and Farah, and Carolina was, was based in New York. So they, and even Anjali, I think, said she did her original audition out there. So it's... Yeah, no, I'm sure they probably just mm -hmm. get yeah. a studio out there, do a, a phone tap. And uh, I mean, in Mostly. fact, la last time I was there, uh, 
Michael was on a phone tap at Blizzard, yeah. and we recorded at the studio. So there you go. Thank you. Thanks, man. Thank and you. Michael Chu is always there in all the sessions yeah. too. He's yeah. the one thing that's always there. Hello, hello. What's up? What's up? Uh, are you guys gonna add more characters to the game? Oh, Duh. I hope they do. Duh, we don't know. Yeah, but we honestly don't know, right? One of the things I was saying last night is I like though. This is just my opinion. I like how Blizzard instead of interjecting more characters to overpopulate it almost, oversaturate, instead they're balancing. And you see that with kind of the, the Mercy changes and you see that with the Roadhog changes and all changes to different characters too. Because I think as when they add someone new, it changes the dynamic quite a bit. And so me personally, I like that they're always polishing it. And you know there's probably going to be some surprises in the future. Don't ever count them out. And one of the things that Blizzard loves to do is surprise everybody. So. I'm sure. I would. I wouldn't. I wouldn't hold my breath that there wouldn't be. I'm sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. You can show your face. It's okay. Is it? no. No. Hey. 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 I'm a Roadhog main, so I just wanted to say it's really awesome to see you. And I was actually playing this morning. Yeah. Uh, I also wanted to ask if you were forced to have to fight uh, one duck-sized Roadhog or a hundred <laughs> Roadhog-sized ducks, what would you choose? Would I fight one duck-sized Roadhogs or a hundred Roadhog-sized ducks? Oh man. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty easy, I think. I would fight a hundred Roadhog sized You're crazy. Ducks. That's, wow. insane. That's insane. Because I want to die like a champion. <laughs> <laughs> really awesome you. Thank you. Great question. Thank you. This is a good Roadhog man. Hi. Hey. Hey. Uh, what do you guys think about the new Mercy rework? Mm. 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 I think the infinite bullets. What do they, what do they call it? Uh, it's that one thing. OP. <laughs> um, and I think that the Roadhog mobile thing is really cool because he's more of like a, a hunter now when he's just going to chase you down, especially at Farrah. Like, and I'm a Farrah main too, like I main Roadhog and Farrah. So every time I see Farrah, I'm like, <laughs> come here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely ready. <laughs> and he, uh, your ultimate is shorter. How do I you know. I had that thing. <laughs> How do you... Uh, how do you feel about that? I mean, balance and harmony is important, so mm -hmm. I'm fine. I'm fine there. There we go. See? <laughs> so, absolutely. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you. Great t shirt, by the way. Yeah, great t shirt. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Hi. Hi. My question for you three if you can change a character that you voice acted, who would you rather voice act instead? <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mike, <laughs> if we could in change, yeah. uh, if we could voice any character in Overwatch other than our own, it would be. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, we know what he needs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll change to Mercy. <laughs> Heroes never die. <laughs> <laughs> I might need some armor. <laughs> I might need to stack a few turrets here. <laughs> Maybe Torborn would be really great. Keith did an amazing yeah, job, yeah. so Torborn yeah, would be fun to voice. Amazing. Mm -hmm. I always got to go with Tracer. I like, uh... <laughs> Cheers, love. <laughs> yeah, the cavalry's here. <laughs> there we go. I, come on, it should have been, so been me for the Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Princess Zelda. Thank you. <laughs> what up, the Merc with a mouth? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, hi. Um, what's your kind of play style in Overwatch? My play style? Yeah. Madman. Uh, um, I am definitely, a, well, I main Roadhog and then I play Farah, so my place to, but then here's the deal. I got tired of losing, so I started rolling healing. Woo! Where are my healers at? <laughs> Thank you. That was just for the healers, that was all for you guys. Yeah, we got, but you have to make sure you are showered with praise once an hour or you stop healing, so. It's <laughs> okay, uh, my question is, which voice actor is the most like their character? Oh, oh I, I, I think I that's Ga Ga Gaku Space is Genji. If you know, he's, he is he is a cyborg, and he is a badass. Badass, he, stone yeah. cold. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, absolutely. I think Diva. Mm. <laughs> I think um, I, I think M Matt Mercer is a lot like McCree, right? Yeah. So, and, Huckleberry. And, and, and Joni. 
Yeah. Johnny's yeah. like a Johnny, 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 yeah. Lucio, yeah. Johnny actually rollerblades everywhere, so, yeah. that's, uh, <laughs> that's, his, that's what he does. That's his mm. thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I knew we ordered a doctor. Mm. See. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Um, so how does it feel for your guys' voices to be like adored on like such a like a wide scale, like everyone loving just your voices? Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. It's flattering. Uh. I mean, really though, we we love seeing you guys. We love coming out and hanging out with you guys. The Overwatch community mm. is something to be proud of. Talk about a, a merry group of diverse, strong men and women and people of all shapes and sizes and genders representing kicking butt equally. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So really. We all share this. We're all proud of each other. I'm proud of you. Your cosplay looks awesome today. I'm stoked that you went through yeah. all this effort to like yeah. dress up, you know? I think that's great. And we all are just consistently impressed by the outpouring of love. And it's only natural that we want to give it back. So thank you. No, and, and absolutely, Overwatch is just as much you as it is us. Absolutely. I mean, we wouldn't be here without I think they're not honest. I think we are talented, so it, we deserve this. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He speaks his mind, you know. Very humble. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Uh, I have a question for Roadhog. Yes. Uh, uh, do, you do you have a uh, good relationship with the voice actor of Junkrat? Do I have a good relationship with Chris Parson, the voice actor of Junkrat? Yeah. Um, you know, everyone's really busy in the cast, and Chris is a busy guy, too. As you know, he did Gladio in Final Fantasy XV. He was amazing in that. Um, and he did an amazing job on the new Junkertown skit. I think the missing link that a lot of people uh, are looking for is a woman by the name of Andrea Toyas, who is the amazing head of voice casting and direction, pretty much, at Blizzard. And she is the glue between Roadhog and Junkrat because she's the one in every session who's like, okay, Roadhog, you can't stand this little explosive, crazy Ozzy Osbourne reject, you know? <laughs> and then on the other side, she's like, okay, Junkrat, this big piece of pork's trying to boss you around, you know? <laughs> so I think with her in particular, she is the reason that when it, you hear the lines of Junkrat and Roadhog going together, they flow so well. And that's a testament to both me and Chris, too, you know? Um, and I, I had a blast recording it, so, yeah. She's definitely a big part of that magic. Thanks. You got it, bro. Hey, hey. What up? Hello. What's up? <laughs> I would like to know who your favorite anime and or video game villain is? Mm, oh. Great question. Favorite anime or video game villain? Mm, I want to say for video game villains, Sephiroth. Well, yeah. Oh, that's cool, yeah. But he's like the anti-villain, right? He's like the anti-hero yeah. kind of deal. He has his own story. Or so if you want to get even great, Kefka, Final Fantasy yes. VI. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> it is the best one. It is, you know. This is probably before a lot of your people's times. But there was a, a, co a console game years back, a Sinistar. Do you remember that? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. hunger. Bro, that was terrifying. Uh, I, yeah, I <laughs> that's a great, yeah. Sinistar, yeah. Sinistar? It was awesome. Good stuff. Awesome. Bowser. Mm. Thank you, guys. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Bowser's been terrifying us for 30 years. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I can jump. Like, he's, that, he's the dragon that won't die. He's like, <laughs> I almost wore another Mario t-shirt today, and I decided to oh, not no. do that. Oh. Yeah, I don't feel like I've let you down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, May. Hey, May. Hi. Okay, so if you guys could make your own personal skin for your character, what would it be? Mm. That's a great question. We ought to... If we could make our I, own. I've said this before, and I'm going to just keep saying it until it happens. Uh, I think baseball Zenyatta would be... <laughs> yeah! Like major yeah. League Zenyatta, I mean... That would be awesome, right? Yeah. <laughs> How cool would that be? That would yeah. be a great skin, yeah, right? you know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. 
<laughs> Mad Bum, Mad Bum Zenyatta. I want uh, mercy skin, so I don't, <laughs> I don't need healing anymore, so I can heal myself. I want to have a skin when, uh, like, Roadhog tries on Junkrat's clothes or something. Like, <laughs> he switch and his hair is all spiked. Or whatever, like. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello. Hi, guys. Hi. Hey. Asking for a friend, but if you could date any of the Overwatch characters in real life, oh. I think I know your answer, but yes. <laughs> who would it be? Because I need healing. Yeah. In real life, not your character. <laughs> oh, like the the actresses? No. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know what? I got a little something for uh for Farah. Yeah. 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 The Rocket Queen. <laughs> That's right. I, I, I'd probably have to fight Gaku Space for, uh, for mercy. I mean, yeah. You know, it just seems like I love a, you know, a woman who can take care of you. I, think yeah. it's, you know. yeah. <laughs> I would lose. I thought he was going to say know, Orisa. I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> just like, because, you know, Omnic. And yeah. That's true. That's could true. be. Could be good. All right. All right. Be like batteries not included. Yeah. Like, Thank just, you so much, guys. <laughs> like that movie. You know, hey, Bastion, that. maybe, yeah. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> That robot love. Robot love. Hi, guys. Hello. Hey. Uh, I just wanted to know what it's like working with Jeff Kaplan. <gasps> wow. One to the two, two to the three. <laughs> hey, it's Jeff from the Overwatch team. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Kaplan, thank you. That's yeah. how I feel about you, Jeff. Yeah, right. Thank you, Jeff, for being so smart, so cool, such a kind, cool guy. Jeff Kaplan is an amazing individual. Mm -hmm. And if any of you guys have the pleasure of meeting him, he is, he's really funny in real life. Mm -hmm. He's witty. Mm -hmm. There's one thing, he's a clever dude. He was really fast. Jeff has to deal with a lot from the community because he is one of the focal figures. So for me, when I watch him uh, do the community update videos, I'm always so proud how he handles himself. He knows what to do. And God, that guy has a tough job, guys. You know, it's hard being Jeff Kaplan. It's hard out here for Jeff. <laughs> um, so I'm always just, I think Jeff does a great job. And I think yep. it's, it's an awesome honor, honor and a privilege. Yeah. I mean, if you ever met, uh, meet him, ask many questions because he's he's vice president, so he can say whatever. So yeah. last time, I, <laughs> la, no, yeah. last time I met him, he's like, oh, next event's this, and uh, after event this, and oh, new skin this, this, and this, and then he shouldn't have said, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you're not supposed uh, now, to repeat that yeah, information. Now, though, that. Spilled, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, yeah, now I know so many stuff. Yeah, that and, was, oh shit, yeah. you know, I don't want to. I didn't want to know because I, you know, I, I can't Kaku's say. Space, so. fired. Second yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I know many stuff. <laughs> I just wanted to know, how did you guys like Sack Anime and if you ever come back? I would love to come back to Sack Anime anytime. Absolutely. Any time. Absolutely. It's fantastic. You guys have really been a huge... Uh, outsource of positivity this weekend. There's incredible cosplays. There's great vibes going on in here, and I think we all have had a wonderful con together. I know it was lit over at the party last night in the dance floor, so. Yeah. Did you? I was there. Oh, I didn't go. In Wait. my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, so this is a question for all of you. So besides Overwatch, is there any character you want to voice, whether it be from a video game or an anime or a TV show, who would it be? Mm. Out of any character? Any character. Okay. Mm. I wanted to be a real Ghostbuster. Yes! yes. Mm. Um, Lorenzo Music is the guy who did Peter Venkman's original voice and the voice of Garfield, mm -hmm. and I idolized him and Frank Welker growing up. So if I could have been, you know, like Egon's cousin or something, I would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> um, who wouldn't want to be Batman? Mm. That'd be awesome. Good answer. I mean, any role in Dragon Ball would be great. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, brother. The universe. <gasps> yeah. My oh. question is, what is your guys' favorite voice lines? 
Mm, favorite mm. voice line? My, first. Yeah. You seem nice. I hate to kill you. <laughs> Say bacon one more time. I dreamt I was a butterfly. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Pachamari is awesome, by the way. Mm. Hello, hello. Oh. That was a great wig. Thank you. <laughs> I bought it here. <laughs> uh, my question is, who do you main? I know you already answered this, but I want to know who you guys main. I mean, I don't play. So. <laughs> but uh, if I play, I'm going to play Mercy. Then I yeah. follow Genji all the time to heal, <laughs> constantly healing him. Uh, I, I played one time with Josh. And we, we played one on one, and we played as our characters, and he kicked my butt. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a fair matchup but in the end, at all. I, I did win. You did win. He, yeah, he, I did. He, 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 I think he let me win. Uh, I, I, I would, uh, I don't know, I'd love to play Lucio. He looks like. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Like okay, yeah. <laughs> I want to get good at Lucio too, like uh, DSPS Stanky, how he like um, moves one of the buttons on his keyboard so he can just like. Hug every wall, <laughs> dude. That is high skill. I can't do that stuff, so I'm always impressed when I see a high-level Lucio player. We're all jealous of your rollerblades, Johnny. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Smashing. Hey, uh, hey. My question is, if your character, what is your character's favorite meme? If what do you think that is? Favorite what? Favorite Me meme. meme. Your favorite meme? Mm. Ah. Self healing intensifying! No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the intensity meme? Doesn't work as well in person, sorry. <laughs> like specifically Overwatch memes or like just memes? Just that meme. Oh. Well, you know the one where. Uh, with Homer Simpson, like, kind of fading back into the, uh, the <laughs> Ivy. Because yeah. I, I think that's very, like, he's, got, like, he's hanging back, that's right? Yeah, yeah. God. <laughs> <laughs> those little things on Facebook, like the, little, the, the clips that have the pictures or whatever. Oh, well, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Any Band-Aid meme is his favorite. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't check those stuff because I don't have social I didn't have any social media, like, three months ago. Yeah. And I, yeah. yeah. And I just yeah. open it. And he only has an Instagram. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if you yeah. see anything else, it's, only, it's not him. Yeah. It's not me. Are you familiar with all your base? No. No? Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you got to start somewhere. Start yeah. somewhere working I'm up. so old fashioned. Even though I'm Japanese, I'm so behind <laughs> the technology. He, also he, writes, he writes letters still and then postcards. <laughs> he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't. I don't even think when he has When he a sends a text, he writes it on a piece of paper and then he holds right, it up right. to the phone. Like, yeah. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and when he doesn't know, you know, and we were at McDonald's the other day, and he, we wanted to know the total, and he brought out an abacus, and he just one bead at a time, added it up. It didn't go past nine, so we had no. to get another abacus. It was awkward. <laughs> you know that story's not true, because Gaku Space would never eat at McDonald's. <laughs> it's like, that body is a temple. I'm telling you, he is a true cyborg. We did. We did have an amazing steak at Dawson's Steakhouse. We did have some really good yes, food over there. Yes. Shout out Dawson's at the uh, High Regency. Terrific. Great food. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. What's up? Hey. I love Josh, by the way. Thank you very much. Um, my question is, um, if your characters were in a band, what would their band name be? Ooh. Oh. Great question. <laughs> I think Roadhog and Junkrat would either be like a uh, industrial Nine Inch Nails duo, mm. uh -huh. or like uh, some like straight out of Malibu rappers, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> let's go with industrial and let's call them the Junk Town Mafia. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> let's see. Great balls of fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, hard rock and heavy metal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be in like a. Uh, like a tap quartet when it was just like. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Genji would probably be like good, just rock and roll, straight up rock and roll, right? I guess. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What's up? Hey guys, hey, how's it going? Hey. hey. So we're at an anime convention, so I have to ask uh -huh. what's your guys' favorite anime? Mm, good mm. question. Dragon Ball? 
And currently, uh, Hunter Hunter is my favorite. Yeah. Good stuff. I'm going to go with like old school, like Ninja Scroll and Jubei. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. And then probably for more new recent stuff, uh, New Hero Academia. Hey! Uh, Robotech, the Macross saga, that, that changed my life when I was a kid. That awesome. was, it was amazing. Thanks, guys. Thanks, bro. Thank you. <laughs> can you turn around so everyone can see his hat? Salty. Yeah. yeah. That's how I feel when I play Overwatch. Yeah, salty. <laughs> salty. Yeah. You okay. got to go to Dawson's to get some steak with that salt. I'm telling oh, yeah. you. <laughs> All right. So this one's actually going to be for Josh. Sure. So I understand that you do voice work for Hearthstone. Yes. What what, uh, what cards do you voice? Um, I'm trying to think of the exact names. Uh, I do the Stone Golem. I do the Prophet Baron. Um, I was in the League of Explorers. I was the Jin in the League of Explorers. Oh, okay. No, not the lamp. No. Oh, I can hear the resemblance. Okay. Yeah, that was, that was, that was my Thank finest hour. Um, <laughs> the resemblance, right? Yeah. You just and... like that guy. And voice that. <laughs> What's the next Hearthstone expansion called? Uh, Karazhan. Karazhan is that what it is? Yeah. Return to Karazhan. Yes. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I may have something in that also. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right on. <laughs> Stuff to look forward to. Can't talk about it. Stuff to look forward to though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jojo. 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 Yeah. Um, Your adventures are so bizarre. <laughs> uh, if you could p pick the next character for uh, the Overwatch cinematics, who would you pick oh. and why? <laughs> I want to do a cinematic when at the end, Junkrat just goes, idiot. <laughs> I think it would be cool to see. I want to see more of the Omnic War story. I would yeah, love to see absolutely. that explained. Yeah. I would I, mean, I would I have to say, say Jeff told well. me next three cinematics, so I can say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. But I think that would be really cool to see, like, the backstory of the Omnic crisis and how all that went down, and yeah. Yeah, how kind of Zenyatta cool. became like the monk. Mm -hmm. Cool. But keep keep coming. So stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for wearing a great hat. <laughs> I was curious as to what each of you guys' favorite movie of all time is. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. So many. Mm. The first one that comes to, well, for me, it's The Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> no question. And Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Braveheart. No. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Braveheart. Braveheart. Oh, yeah, that's a good movie. Ah, uh, I, I, I love movies. I mean, that is my like real hobby or true passion just like going to see movies like in the theater which no one really does anymore but uh if we're saying to like sci-fi uh star trek star trek 2 the wrath of khan mm. yeah without question and then ah boy uh dazed and confused is really yeah that's a, that's a, that's a great one. i love that one all right all right all right all right all right all right interstellar space travels <laughs> gonna step outside the, the little whistle in there the whistle it. matthew mcconaughey <laughs> swear <laughs> swag hello hello right. little, audio medic short, a little short here but all right um my name is robert and um oh here we go oh my nah. God. <laughs> uh yeah my name is robert and hey, robert uh, I just love, I love your characters, and I is love. Is this a Vegeta guys. cosplay? Oh no, this is uh, the Cosmic Warrior. <laughs> okay. I made it myself as like my own character, <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> with, uh, awesome. with the with the Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I saw. Well, I saw this. I didn't see the whole thing. I didn't see the whole thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like I'm entertaining everybody. Okay. Um, the question I wanted to ask is, what were you doing before Overwatch began? Like, what were you working on before Overwatch even existed? Mm. Like a, you know. Like, what were you working on? What was your proto-Overwatch state? Hmm. Hmm. When I, I moved to Los Angeles about seven years ago, um, and I was bartending and winning tables the first year and a half, uh, as any aspiring actor will tell you. Uh, taking any job I could, and I booked something really big. At Universal Studios Hollywood, I booked the job of Optimus Prime and Megatron for their character meet and greet show. Oh, really? So that's, that's what, 
kind of gave me a great new job in LA that paid really well and took care of me so I didn't have to you know, stay up till 3.30 every night cleaning the bar. And when I went and started, was meeting with the agency workout groups, I mentioned that to them and that upped my stock a little bit. And they were like, oh, we're interested in you. Who are you? you know? And it was like, come back next week and see if you're serious. And I came back 52 weeks straight. So that's what I was doing. Yeah. Uh, I did a live action series of a Street Fighter called Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Yeah. Yeah. So I, that's kind of for me to open doors. So then since then I did, you know, the jobs here and there. Then, you know, I land this job as well. So. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess I was just watching his live action Street Fighter as well. <laughs> <laughs> Sit around the house. Of course you would. No. Uh, I, I've been just acting voice acting for a while just and yeah just doing. you know yeah that's what we do just whatever comes much, commercials you know the voiceover camera whatever comes you know yeah it's, i mean yeah. That, that is really cool that you guys have been doing that and it's i mean continue on doing it cuz you got all your fans here thank you very <laughs> much thank you yeah, thank yeah. You. that's the key thank <laughs> you <laughs> yes. thank you guys thank you thank you question thank you very much hi no <gasps> diva oh, diva hello hi dear hi hi uh, so, since we're here at a cosplay, cosplay convention, who would you like to cosplay? Oh. And why not Winnemaker? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I would love to cosplay maybe like a StarCraft, like Terran unit mm -hmm. with a big like helmet or something like uh. that, you know? Or maybe like... I just maybe something simple like Spider Spider Man. I want to walk yeah. around in those tights. <laughs> right, right. I really do. Wear a dance you belt. know, I think I got the calves for it. I think yeah, yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, when it's this hot out, I just think it's got to be something with the least amount of uh, clothing. Right. So like <laughs> like like, like Dalsim from Street Fighter. Dalsim. Right? Like, you know, yes. yeah, maybe like that'd be cool, right? Dalsim. I would cosplay Black Watch Genji. Mm. Thank you so much. Can I make Great a question, Diva, and your cosplay is awesome. Yes. Josh, I think you should cosplay as Princess Peach. Princess Peach, I could do yeah. that. The, um, it would be like the sideshow bearded lady Peach, though. Yeah, like, you yeah, know? yeah. Put, some, put some bows in yeah. there, braid it up a bit. Oh, no. All right. So, I was wondering, what do you guys think about Paladins? Because supposedly it's like a ripoff of Overwatch. Paladins oh. is the high res game, right? I think it's a great game. It's not we're not here to hate on other games and we're not here to mm -hmm. to tell you what we think you should and shouldn't play. I think everyone should play whatever they want to play. If you have fun, Paladins is a great there's a bunch of talented people in that and High Res made that amazing game Smite and they've made a bunch of great stuff. I think some of the games like Battleborn and Paladins got a bad rap when they came out because Overwatch and them had similar art styles, similar graphic design in some of it. And so yes, there is a little bit of leaning on some of it. You can tell maybe Overwatch leaned over here and borrowed this from them and Smite borrow this from them and so on and so forth but in the end I think Paladins is different because Paladins is a lot more they're adding more characters and the abilities you see the damage numbers on screen it's kind of it's a different paced game so I would say whatever floats your boat man no, no hate man here. it sucks so let's play Overwatch <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Overwatch. He speaks his mind. You know, God gives a eat. Oh, that worked. Oh, that worked. play Overwatch. He does not hold yeah. back. <laughs> yeah. Ask him what, what, what cinematics are coming out Tell next. Tell the PR <laughs> department yeah, really calls me just, first. Just oh, grab man. him in the hall. Yeah. And, and, you know, maybe, he'll, Overwatch maybe he'll tell you. <laughs> of course. Overwatch is the best game. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's <laughs> true. That that's true. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. What's up? Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey. I met you and your brother. What was it? I think I met you and your brother, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Um, what would you think of a Big Hero 6 crossover with Overwatch? Ooh. That would be cool. Big yeah. Baymax? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Just because in many ways, Overwatch is like a spiritual successor to that one. Huh. Yeah, it is in a way, right? The, the storyline kind of, could, could you, could, you could do that, right? Because you could be like after Big Hero 6, ah, all the ah. events of the moon took place and all that stuff, right? Is that kind of... Like <laughs> They're very complementary art styles as well. Like yeah. They, they mm -hmm. look yeah. good. I agree. They do share the same kind of modeling in the CG, yeah. right? 
Mm. Mm. I wonder if some of the animators, because uh, I mean, Blizzard has always had for years top-notch animation. Like their CG stuff has always been ahead of everyone's else. From Warcraft, like three, you know, that was I remember being like, "Wow!" And, you know, um, and even Warcraft two, the burning Lord Ron shores of the Elven forces. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that would be really cool. And I both, I both think they're beautiful franchises. I would like to see Roadhog be Baymax, though. <laughs> Thank you. I like your hat. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Dab on him. Dab on him. Oh. <laughs> Hail and well met, my dude. Yeah, saw, dude. No. It's a saw, dude. <laughs> saw. It's a saw, dude. <laughs> um, in your guys' eyes, how or why do you think Zenyatta gets stuck in Junkrat's traps? Mm. <laughs> I think, doesn't, okay, so Zenyatta has that little cloth that falls, right? Oh. It's the cloth! <laughs> Has to be. <laughs> They're asking because uh, Junkrat's trap is on the ground and Zenyatta levitates, right, right. so how would oh, someone who levitates right. get hit by I a trap? It. It's the same, didn't they ask, like, well, someone was like, why can't Anna ultimate herself, like, why? and then like the Overwatch de devs answer, like, well, why can't McCree high noon himself? Because <laughs> right. you don't shoot yourself in the game, you know, so. Why? Why? <laughs> why? You don't shoot yourself in the game because, I don't think, you, you, you don't have any, you don't see, like, when you look down, you don't see your feet, so you wouldn't have, like, a target, yeah. you know? Like, you'd have, it's not like Titanfall, and, like, you jump, and you kind of, like, see your feet dangling. I know? like it when games do that, like, the first yeah. Left 4 Dead did that, yeah. where you could look down and see your own legs, and there's a couple of other, mm. like, I think, um... Call of Duty does it sometimes, they're always on your legs, yeah. like, broken, and you're always like, <laughs> oh, my and leg PUBG is does that now, PUBG? Well, the first person mode. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm contributing to this conversation. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> Proud of you. <laughs> Uh, hi, um, hi, I just want to quickly say that I'm like honored to be here in front of you three. Thank you, um, thank you. My question was going to be, what is your favorite improv moment between all of you in the cast? Mmm. Mm. That, uh... I love the, there, I love the video we just did at Angie's house when I gave him the Band-Aid. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that, that, was was fun. Fun. Yeah. that was funny. That was funny. Yeah, what the hell is this? He said so. Mm -hmm. But um, in game, is that what your question is? In game or no? Just, just in all general? around. Just if you're with other cast nah. members, just all of. We've had a great time this weekend. Happy. There's yeah. been some really funny stuff that we all remember from this weekend <laughs> yeah. in Sack Anime. So anytime you put the the gang together. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, but definitely, yeah. Josh's loot box video was that was fun. Yeah. Yeah, he was like, oh, I want to do this thing. And I think most were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but I mean, it took us a, One of I, I was like, I that. have this vision and this and that. And everyone's <laughs> yeah. like, oh, okay, Josh, whatever. Like, like, yeah, you know, it turned out You're great. a lunatic. It fun. <laughs> but it ended up turning out really fun. It was really yeah. cool. So I was glad it, it turned out well. And I'm glad everyone enjoys these, these videos that we do or enjoys you know, seeing us. So thank you. We're always flattered and honored to be here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Are you Dr. Horrible? No. I'm Junkenstein. <laughs> Hello, doctor. <laughs> Hello. So my question was, while making Overwatch, what was the funniest moment that you had? Oh. Hmm. Well, there was that one time I farted in the booth. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a pretty bad... <laughs> I wasn't there for his, but I was definitely there for mine. Uh, and yeah, it's occasionally, you know, especially with Zenyatta, with the lines being so very, oh, Zen, and if like a burp slips out in the middle, it, it just, yeah, it's pretty funny. It's very jarring. Yeah. I think I've done Roadhog a couple of times too, and like my voice maybe is cracked because I was laughing or something, like, ho, oh, hog! Like, <laughs> uh, should I say? Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, no. No. <laughs> some, some, yeah. uh, last uh, the recording session, and I have to say the uh, Hanzo's alt. And then 
you know, uh, because of you know the Genji's day flag, and then they they said it's a day flag, so you have to you know say it quicker. And I said, you know, like you know, um, <laughs> so then I get like, uh, <laughs> smile, yeah. then yeah, it's like I start laughing. Because, yeah. <laughs> thank you, great question. Thank you, thank you so much. I also apologize for calling you Dr. Horrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> Professor Junkenstein has left the building. <laughs> no. My question is, is how did you guys come up with the voices for your characters? Mm, that's a great, it's a great question. Uh, first, maybe a couple of sessions. I still like, try to find out, you know, what the Genji is and how, you know, how, you know, my voice should project. But as, as we said, all the, always the, you know, the writer Michael Chu and Andrea as the director is always there, and uh, we some we always try like different versions. It's not like only one take and that's it. No, so we always say, hey, can you do this way? Do this way? Do that way? Then eventually, I kind of find out, okay, so this is it. So I, my recording session is getting shorter and shorter because now I know the character. Yeah. Hi. Mm -hmm. I based Roadhog off a lot of uh, Doctor Claw meets Megatron, <laughs> meets Josh Petersdorf. And it was that. <laughs> so there was a lot of like, I'll get you next time, Gadget. <laughs> kind of, you know, very. Nice. Yeah. Um, for uh, my first session, uh, they showed me the artwork first. And they were like, well, he's, he's a robot, but he's a monk, and he has these orbs that he can throw at you. and we were talking a lot about um, like characters who uh, want to be human, you know, the robots. So I, I remember uh, Mr. Spock came up and, and uh, Data from uh, Star Trek. And at first, because it's like, oh, he's from Tibet, I think we tried with like a little bit of an accent, but it's like, oh, he's a robot. Why would you have an accent? And so and then I think we lost that and <laughs> they just got, you know, the, uh, the voice that, that you hear in the game. All right. That's cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Are there versions of the characters where you, you did a different take on the voice that didn't quite work? So that, that there are, is that something you could, that if you wanted to, you could give us a bit of a taste of, like a forgotten <laughs> roadhog or a I parallel think, universe version of your character, I guess? I think I'm the only one probably in the studio who says, okay, tone it down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of my lines maybe were like really a, like, Barky, maybe, and then they, uh, with the great direction of Andrew, she was like, coach it in there, smooth it in there, you know? And so we get, uh, Roadhog riots again, instead of, Roadhog riots again! <laughs> <laughs> Very constipated, Roadhog. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I often get that, uh, the like pull it back a bit, especially with the, because yeah, he's still a robot. Uh, so I think it's probably the big, um, like what he achieved, yeah. the, the ultimate lines. Like, and one of the, I'd say one of the great things about voice acting is you want to go too big. You want them right, to rein right. you in and be like, hey, bring it down, because it can, it's almost never too much. It right. never even, you think you're doing too much, and then you hear it like, wow, that sounded perfect. I thought I was like some maniac. Right. You know? I don't know how they're going to make this work, but then you see the finished product, and you're always like, oh. Yeah, yeah. Same, cool. Cool. <laughs> He disappeared Hi, Josh. Hi, Veodor. Hi. Hi, Gaku. Uh, I got a question specifically for you, Gaku, um, mm -hmm. on your work with uh, Street Fighter Assassin's Fist. Mm -hmm. um, how long was the training process for you, and was it draining? Uh, when I got the uh, role, and then I had like six months to prepare for like for my physical wise, and then uh, I went to Bulgaria to shoot uh, two weeks prior, and then we trained together, and then all the choreo and stuff like that. But uh, still, while uh, we are shooting, you know, after while shooting, like you know, after sunset, go back to the hotel, eat something, then still train. Uh, so then pretty much training every day, including uh, filming. So pretty much like from yeah, maybe six to seven, eight months, especially I didn't have any stunt, so I have to do everything. So it's a it's, it's tough process, but it's really fun, and I learned a lot. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. The results show the dude shredded. Like, yes. <laughs> Ripped. <laughs> Hello. Wrong game, dude. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Well, he's a director. Team Fortress <laughs> yeah. in the house. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that game's 10 now? I, just, I need to know. 
and I'm asking for a friend here, not okay. me, for a friend. Okay. I need to know, does Tracer have any interest in guys? <laughs> and, and and wait, wait. All those what, Tracer what if, boys were heartbroken what, what if, when she got her girlfriend. What, what if that guy offered her? Oh, chicken? I don't know. You know what? I'm what happy that chicken? Tracer's happy. That, would that help with you that? You know? Yeah. For, for a friend, not me. Oh, oh for a friend. <laughs> well, for a friend, not you. Remember that love is love, you know? And I'm happy that Tracer's happy and... Yeah, where's Winston's girlfriend or yeah. boyfriend? <laughs> Winston needs some yeah. love. Someone Wait, give yeah. that poor gorilla someone to hang out with, you yeah. know? Like. <laughs> so I think Tracer's very happy. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, go, so tell your friend. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey. <laughs> That's a great teacher. That is a great teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, I had a question about voice acting in general on the team. Uh, are you guys allowed to improvise or add on to the script, or is Blizzard very lenient about that? Well, Michael Chu is the head writer, yeah. and his team works tirelessly so that when we get a line, it's gone through the ringer. Yeah. It's been tested, tried, and true. You know? Only thing I correct sometimes Japanese, because they just Google Translate. That sucks. <laughs> so I correct sometimes there. But the lines exactly, the, the, they wrote, then we can do, yeah. We get some wiggle room on inflection of it. So the intensity of the line. Um, something that's a great example is when you pick Roadhog, he does like a cough and then a laugh. Well, all they asked for is like, we want him to like kind of choke laugh. And then I gave it the kind of coughing wheeze. You know, so that would be a good, like, they asked for one thing, and then I gave them what they, you know, kind of what, they gave us a realm and a box, and they're like, build in this box, you know? And so as long as you don't go outside the box, it's pretty good. But you couldn't change, like, words, you know, maybe, like, a little bit more, ready to go, whole hog! And they're like, no, nah. how about ready to go, whole hog? That's better, you know, mm -hmm. so stuff like that, maybe, yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Love that T-shirt, by the way. Yeah, it's a really yeah. great T-shirt. There's been some great shirts today. <laughs> great shirts, great, great cosplay. Shots. Yeah, really great cosplay. everyone's awesome. Hi. Hey. In your guys' opinions, which characters are the best and worst cooks in the Overwatch base? Because Mama <laughs> needs to know. <laughs> <laughs> the Queen Chef has asked. Best and worst. Best chef. Um, well, Roadhog doesn't eat pork, so oh, yeah, your vegetarian yeah. option. <laughs> I want to say May is probably the worst because she, everything <laughs> has freezer burn. <laughs> <laughs> mm, the best one? Soldier. Soldier? Soldier? Father? Yeah. No. Oh, no. yeah. Well, probably, probably, probably yeah. Anna. Anna, yeah. yeah. She probably does. That's, yeah, that yeah, Egyptian food would be really yeah. good. Yeah, because she's a mother of a uh, Yeah, she yeah. is a grandma. Yeah, yeah. she's probably made many yeah. meals. And the worst one? Reinhardt. No, because Zenyatta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't Good eat. Thing. He doesn't eat. He doesn't cook. Yeah. He doesn't need to eat. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dev, yeah, Zenyata is definitely the worst <laughs> yeah. cook, for sure. <laughs> Who is your favorite? Who would you think is your top chef and least chef? Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um, it's so hard, because... There's like all these different people from all these different places, so they might have learned all these different ways of cooking. Some of them might be good or bad. So why did you Winston? ask us then? <laughs> I'll just say. I don't know, too. Do you think Winston <laughs> eats banana bread? I could give him some to try. Yes, <laughs> peanut butter and bacon. Mama loves all her children. Uh, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Chef Mama. Hey, thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. And this is our last question of the last oh, Overwatch panel last of the weekend. Oh, okay. oh wait, wait. Tracer had a question. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. It's all you, my man. What's your name, brother? Let's do it. My name is Joshua. Joshua? Yes. Joshua? Yes, yes. It's a great name. <laughs> thank you. My I disagree. Is, um, <laughs> why? Why can Doomfist one-shot people and Roadhog can't? Oh. Why <laughs> The question <laughs> from Josh was, why can Doomfist one-shot people and Roadhog can't? Oh. His life's not fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
there's an ever continuing balance in the world of Overwatch, and Blizzard is great at doing one thing, and it's polish. So when they're really good at polishing, pe heroes are going to go through changes. Uh, I mean, if you look in the beginning, they're like, yeah, you can roll six Torborns against six Torbjorns. That's fine. It's part of the game. Season one, they're like, all right, let's not do that anymore. You know, so. <laughs> So obviously, as time, you know, time is the only thing that can gauge some of these stuff. You can put a game into beta and test it a million times until it goes live and you see what happens. You never really know. Mm -hmm. So I think while Doomfist is really strong now, Roadhog did just get that big buff with that damage reduction and the mobile heal. Hey! So I think there's always something new to look out for around the corner. And if you're getting one shot by Doomfist now, don't worry. Be like Genji and go find a healer. <laughs> Great question, Josh. Right. Thanks, Josh. Thank you very much. Hi, Tracer. Now here's our last hey. question hey. for real you look great. She traveled back in time to the future. <laughs> Both. Both. <laughs> so my my question is, what are your guys' opinions on Bastion mains? Master mains? What's on Master mains? Bastion. Oh, Bastion mains. Oh. Bastion mains? Bastion mains. Yeah. What do we call them? Uh, losers? No. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm totally kidding. If the Bastion main is on my team, I love you. <laughs> if he's on the other team, I can't stand him. Bastion's a curious thing, right? Because he got that shield and everything, and he is the ultimate turret. But, uh, I mean, I think that every hero and every character in the game has a good place, you know? Yeah. So, there's no super hate towards Bastion or anything. I love my fellow robots. Yeah. <laughs> Genji sharpens his sword. Oh, as long as it's not Hanzo main, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, Tracer. Thank you. Can we also just take a minute to appreciate this cosplay? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well done. That's it. So, That's what we got, you guys want to give some voice lines to us? Sure. Yeah? What do you want? Let's do... Uh, Alt. Yeah, the ultimate. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, hold on. My ultimate is almost ready. Mm -hmm. My ultimate is charging. <laughs> ready to go, whole hog! <laughs> Hi. Sacramento, experience tranquility. Oh. Is it ready? Beauty the Kale Thank you. Thank you, Sack Anime. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, Goku Space, Josh Petersdorf, and Fido Chin. Guys, thank you so thank much. Thank you to our wonderful moderator, too, for doing a great job. Thank you, everyone.